I'm so excited. I had to do this video. I wasn't going to, but I'm so excited about stuff that I got already. And you know what? Happy holidays. I'm so excited about the holidays this year. I just, I don't know, I feel so festive. But as you can see, I really don't have any uh, Christmas things yet. This is like the only thing I really have. That's, that's a star, but Callie gave that to me. That was on her tree last year, so I, I kind of just got that borrowed from her and then this little guy has been with me for I don't know how many decades at least two two and a half my son made this I think when did he make this I hate to say it but I think in fourth grade but I still have that of all the times I moved oh I just can't believe I still have it I'll probably give it to him once he has his little boy or girl so he can see what his dad made but anyway, yeah, I, I need to get some Christmas lights, the colorful lights. You know, I'm by myself, and I thought, well, you know, I wasn't going to do anything. But I'm like, I am. What the heck? I, I love Christmas lights and that. I'm going to put them on my patio, too. So, got to go out and get a tree. But I went out this morning because um, I had to go to UCLA, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. Oh, my gosh. They have the best, the best stuff for Christmas. I just went... A little crazy. I only did a cart full because I had to push it to my cart or my car. So um, let's get started and see what I got. First off, well, okay, I, I got the gingerbread house. <laughs> I love this. I just think I've never put one together, but I had gotten one the other day at CVS. So I don't know. I'm a little obsessed. You know why? Because um, on the food network they had that challenge the, the the actual size gingerbread house challenge with the celebrities i think duff was one from asa cakes and then there was another chef there i'm not for sure what his name is but i love him too but and then they had the property brothers on there to help them make the actual structure of the gingerbread house and then they decorated it from there the work that went into that was so amazing just amazing well duff won that challenge but I think they had two days they could work on it, but never did this, want to do it. You know, and they're really not that expensive. This was like, I think, $5.99 at CBS, and then this was only like $7.99. That's really pretty good for Trader Joe's, so. You know what? Even if I don't make it, it makes me happy because I'm just going to set it on my table so I see it every time I walk by, right? Right. Okay. And then, well, the only the reason I did go to Trader Joe's was to get my... Oh, oatmeal exfoliant ginger almond soap. I love this. It just feels really good on my skin. It has a light scrub to it. Pretty natural. So I stock up. They're only $2.99 a bar. They have a really nice clean smell to them and I like that. It, I like to smell clean. And oh gee, I have another bag too. Let me see. Oh yes. Oh well there's a little Target stuff in there too. I went to Target. CVS and Trader Joe's. But I also went to Trader Joe's because I've always, always wanted to key onto with this little bamboo strapping going around it because it looks so Italian. Not that I have a lot of Italian meals for people that come over, but I just thought it would look good on my bar or for the holidays. And then when I was just about ready to exit the liqueur aisle, I saw. Prosecco. And they go, this is only available during the holidays. Look how big that little puppy is. I don't, well, it is 1.5 liters. It is so huge. I love it. $11.99. Oh, this is like, when if you go and get Prosecco at a bar, it's like $9 for a champagne flute. $11.99. So, did I get one? Oh, no. Oh, no. That was too good a deal. I got two, and possibly I got three. Oh my gosh. I mean, if this is only good till Christmas and they're never gonna have it again till next year, this stuff will keep. I'm just like, was just amazed at it. I was just gonna go get some of that pink Moscato. Uh, and it was like, that would be like $6.99. That was like half of this, maybe a fourth. So if it's, it's a real, it's a sweeter champagne, fake champagne, but it's good. So if you, I, you know, and I don't even know if there's Trader Joe's all over in the United States, but 
I know they're out here. I know they weren't in Illinois when I was there. I don't know. Maybe they're making their way across to the East Coast, but I love them. They have such unique items, which another thing which I really went for, too, is their stuffed peppers with seasoned turkey and rice. Oh, my God. They are to die for. They have actually 15 grams of fat. Actually, 30. 15 each. There's two halves in there. That is, you know me, I, I love my protein, so, but these are so good, and they were only like $6, really, and that's a meal, two of them, even half of them is a meal. So, I just made myself some lunch, and I was just going to show you, this is the stuffed pepper that I got from Trader Joe's, I just cut it all up, but I just wanted to see how, I mean, that makes such a huge meal. And that's just a half of a pepper, so that's like a $3 lunch or a $3 dinner. It's like crazy. My plate's hot. I gotta put my paper towel under it. So I get a little bit of the turkey and the rice and my, oh, hot, but my red pepper and a, mm. So, so good. And you know what? Food tastes even better when you're starving or extremely hungry. I don't think I'm ever starving, but... It's just really mellow. They got great seasonings in it. A little tomato sauce. You know, I try to make my own, but it takes time, and it's okay. But for three bucks, I, you know, when, especially when you're by yourself, you don't always want to cook. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You do the happy dance. Mm -mm. Anyway, one more bite. Back to my video, you guys. vegetable with them like these my grilled asparagus spears I love them they already had them grilled with that little flavor to them and what I do actually I've been having these in the morning I put them in the oven and pepper them I don't use a lot of salt so I don't put the salt on it put them in the oven at 350 and then I put a little ham in there in the oven too to warm them up and then I just roll the spears a couple three spears into a ham slice and I have like two or three of them, and that's my breakfast, and that is so healthy. That is all less than, well, that's probably all less than 100 calories right there for breakfast. And then I actually got the ham from them, too. I usually go to Ralph's and get their ham that's always sliced off, but this looks pretty good. It was a health, it says healthy smoked ham. And this was all, I mean, everything is really reasonable. You would think that it would be a little more expensive there, but... I don't find it any more expensive than Vons. And, okay, so anyway, yeah, I got three of those stuffed peppers. Kind of like what I do, I freeze them. You know, there isn't a Trader Joe's really close by to me. I have to at least travel 20, 15 minutes probably. 15, yeah. I can get somewhere in 15, 20 minutes. But when you want something, you don't want to go out. Like I want to go out and get on my bike later today. I mean, I could ride my bike there too, but... Um, when you, when, when you got other things to do, you just don't want to sometimes drive to the grocery store. I like to have it planned out. I like to have meals here so I don't have to be starving and like go out to McDonald's. Although I do like the fries at McDonald's and their breakfast. McDonald's. Okay, anyway, another Trader Joe's favorite I got was salad with barbecue flavored chicken. This is like $3.99, but sometimes you can get two meals out of it. There's a lot in it. There's the lettuce, the barbecue flavored chicken. The beans, there's a smoked Gouda cheese in there, tortilla strips, and the barbecue vinaigrette. But there is also, let's see where they said that. There is the corn salsa in there, which I love. I, you know, I'm, I was surprised, but this had like 23 grams of protein. Must be the, like, the beans, chicken. Really good source. You guys got to get your protein. Even the new vegans, always get your protein. That's what keeps your muscles strong. Okay, then, oh, I don't know how these are going to be, but let me just show you what they are first. What are those? Those are very secretive. I don't, I loved the stripes. And it is lobster ravioli. Now, man, I love ra lobster. I love ravioli. But, and I love how beautiful they are. I've never eaten a beautiful piece of ravioli. It's like, 
Uh, unless it was at a restaurant, like, where they drip the pesto on it and make it fancy, but I make it fancy myself. I'll let you know how these are. I have to do a taste test on there, but I couldn't pass those up. Those looked really, really good. Another 13 grams of protein, and there's 26 in this whole thing, which is only, like, 10 ravioli, so that's awesome. Okay, so that was my Trader Joe's haul with that little CVS gingerbread man thrown in. Um, went to Target. Non-fun stuff was my contact solutions. And I did break down because I love these, but I, I'm going to make sure I open them when somebody's around that loves them. Is my almond M&Ms. And that's the Christmas pack. Oh my gosh. These, if you guys love almonds, if you guys love M&Ms together, it's like heaven. It's like a dessert. You know, after you're done eating and you need a, a couple of sweet things, grab a little handful of these. Uh, it will crave your sweet tooth and, oh, and the nuts are good for the protein. But my favorite, favorite chocolate covered almonds ever. And they're hard to find, They during, especially during the off season. Sometimes some stores will have like a little bag of them, but not very many. Hard to find, just hard to find. Okay, so that was just a short target run for that one. Then I went to Bonds, which is a grocery store out here in Southern California. And I, I, I feel like I'm going to be decorating a lot. And so I got these giant size gingerbread men. How cool are they? It's a cookie kit. It comes with the cookie, white icing, and the candies for the decoration. Cool are those, but they're really, really big. I got two. They were $6.99, which isn't bad. I mean, you know, they got little samples of how you can decorate it. So I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get, be busy, I guess. But I know I've already started my full-time job, so it's like I just need to keep myself busy, 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 busy. And then also, I know that one came with the icing, but I, I got extra. I'm not one to. You know, do icing and put in the coloring anymore. It's just so easy just to buy these. You know, they already got the little toppers to them. This one, I got the red, green, I got a blue. And these come with different tips too, so that's what I like. And white, white too. But you know, they, and I didn't know this, but I did see they had like the, I don't know what the fun, the, thing the what do you call them anyway you stuff the frosting in them and you squeeze them out they had those already like parchment funnels and you can just all make your own ready-made ones too a lot of them do them out of baggies you put your frosting in and then you snip a corner out and frost them like that but i'm going the easy way this year because i gotta work five days five nights or whatever a week so i'm just trying to keep myself into the festive spirit of uh, creating things at home and baking and cooking. So anyway, this all has made me so happy this morning. I had to share it with you because as you know, I'm all alone. And so you guys are my friends out there. And I love doing the videos because anytime I want to chit chat with you guys, you give me so much back. And I love that about you. And go out and find something like crafty to do like that and it's really fun especially if you can find someone to do it with and it will brighten your holiday season i swear it will love you guys till next time Mwah.